January 18, 2011, a TV news cameraman's videotaping workers responding to a gas leak in the Taconi neighborhood of Philadelphia, when all of a sudden, the ground erupts. All you see is just this flash of light and this giant plume of smoke just rocket up into the sky, followed shortly by fire and sparkles of light and just debris falling all around. Cameraman Jeff Nichols captures the yellow-orange fireball. The explosion blows dangerous chunks of concrete and other debris into the air. You can see in the left corner of the screen that this panel of debris just kind of floats down from the sky and hits one gentleman in the back. Nichols arrives at the scene 20 minutes before the blast, expecting to capture utility workers fixing the leak. As a news videographer, you've done these stories before. It's usually nothing much. Uh, you might smell a little bit of gas or propane kind of smell. It doesn't ever really amount to anything. This, however, was a different time. Nichols sets up his camera at what he thinks is a safe distance until he realizes the utility workers are not actually sure where the leaking gas is coming from. There was a hesitation from everyone, just an unknowingness of what was happening, of where this gas was coming from. Am I in a safe area? Despite his uneasiness, Nichols stays where he is and goes to work. I had a close-up shot of the two gentlemen walking out of the building, and all of a sudden you see this flash of light hit them in the face. Right in front of his camera, the street blows sky high and emergency workers start to scramble. There's just this general sense of chaos that just immediately erupts from this explosion, from everyone around. As the fire rages in front of him, Nichols becomes concerned he might be too close, but he holds his ground and continues to record. There's that split second that you're wondering, is debris gonna fall on me? Are there metal shards and roofing gonna cut me or hit me right in the body? Falling debris isn't the only thing to worry about. Nichols fears there could be another explosion. Part of you wanted to flee because your instinct is to run away from these things, especially getting hit with a heat wave in the face. Part of you as a journalist, as a videographer, wants to stay. The fire, fueled by the leaking gas, continues to burn uncontrollably. Nichols records the dramatic scene and soon learns the story has taken a tragic turn. I thought to myself, someone has to be killed in this. And sure enough, it did, the 19-year-old public gas worker. The young victim, Mark Keeley, is found buried in the debris of a destroyed building. His friends and family are devastated. Well, I didn't think there's any way. I mean, there's so many PGW, like, no way it could be any of my friends. And then when I woke up the next morning and heard the news, it was heartbreaking. Four gas workers and a firefighter suffer injuries. The blast destroys several buildings in the area, including the apartment building of nearby resident Jim McNichol. He loses everything he owns. I really don't know how anybody can recover from something like this. My life went up in flames that night. After being so close to such a large explosion, cameraman Jeff Nichols feels lucky to make it home from work that day. I can't believe I'm alive. If I was a little bit closer, given different circumstances, I could have been seriously injured. 